All right, welcome back. Spring is when fashion designers release their new lines. However, with no place to go, not even to the workplace for many of us, sweats and old clothes are the fashions of this spring. Our Craig Worth notes all of this in tonight's report. However, our self-proclaimed king of fashion found some entertaining old film clips to remind us when fashion ruled spring. It's worth watching. So this kind of sums up this year's spring fashions. As a lot of folks are staying at home. Yeah, work at home spring fashions consisting of sweatshirts or maybe even just pajamas. Let's not go this far, men's frozen themed pajamas. But really, the only folks who will see your fashions are the other squares on a Zoom meeting. Oh, but there was a time before this year's sweatpants. Spring brought big fashion news. We turn back the calendar to a normal spring, such as 1956. People Will Talk is the name of this gray chiffon flannel and white silk satin number. Yes, even a faded ad in an 1890 Salt Lake paper told us spring meant fashion. And fashion meant hoop skirts and tennis. Yeah, that would be real easy to wear when playing tennis. This report is all about spring fashion. Now I realize few people know fashion like I know fashion. You know, it's just kind of a part of me. Sort of like dotting the I in the word fashion. Oh, but there's a history to it. The forward look in design shows our foursome in their prettiest evening clothes in a modern coach beyond Cinderella's fondest dreams. Right, a modern car and a big hat. Cool. And next, an ensemble called Tonight and Every Night. Under the black velvet coat, she wears a festive dress of black. But spring not only means evenings, it means outdoor fun by day. Now it's not just the international scene. Oh no, there was a lot of fashion here, locally. Yes, the old Walker store had spring openings in 1916, window displays, live models, and even an orchestra every afternoon. Downtown stores used to have a spring fashion show and huge for 1916, Panniers, hoops, and even bustles will be big. Oh, panniers, they're the big hoops that puff out dresses. By the 1930s, it was the Flash Gordon helmet meets the Ben-Hur look. But by the 1950s, it was modern. This old Channel 4 film shows the styles of Utah. But you can see there was a price to pay for fashion, such as a full coat at pennies for $3, Oh, and a whole outfit was a shocking 11 bucks at the Bon Marche, and $3 only got you two dresses at Moto Day, but it was swell and it was modern. Yes, fashion looks forward for 56. So take it from me, Mr. Fashion. You know, you might just be working at home and nobody sees you except for all those on Zoom. But remember, spring, it's all about fashion. Craig Worth, ABC 4 News.